Second Nephi, chapter 2. And now I speak unto you, Joseph, my lastborn. Thou wast born in the wilderness of mine affliction, yea, in the days of my greatest sorrow. Did thy mother bear thee? And may the Lord consecrate also unto thee this land, which is a most precious land for thine inheritance, and the inheritance of thy seed with thy brethren for thy security forever. If it so be that ye shall keep the commandments of the Holy One of Israel, and now Joseph, my lastborn, whom I have brought out of the wilderness of mine affliction, nay, the Lord bless thee forever, for thy seed shall not utterly be destroyed. For behold, thou art the fruit of my loins, and I am a descendant of Joseph, which was carried captive into Egypt. And great was the covenant of the Lord, which he made unto Joseph. Wherefore, Joseph truly saw our day, and he obtained a promise of the Lord, that out of the fruit of his loins the Lord God would raise up a righteous throne unto the house of Israel. Not the Messiah, but a branch, which was to be broken off. Nevertheless, to be remembered in the covenant of the Lord, that the Messiah should be made manifest unto them in the latter days, in the spirit of power, unto the bringing of them out of darkness unto light, yea, out of hidden darkness and out of captivity into freedom. For Joseph truly testified saying, As for me, shall the Lord my God raise up, which shall be the point to you, under the fruit of my loins. Yea, Joseph truly said, Thus saith the Lord unto me, A choice sayer will I raise up out of the fruit of thy loins, and he shall be esteemed highly among the first of thy loins. And unto him will I give commandments, that he shall do a work for the fruit of thy loins, his brethren, which shall be of a great worth. Unto them, even to the bringing of them to the knowledge of the covenants which I have made with thy father. And I will give unto him a commandment that he shall do none other work, save the work which I shall command him, and I will make him great in mine eyes, for he shall do my work, and shall be great like unto Moses, whom I have said I would raise up unto you to deliver my people, O house of Israel. And Moses will I raise up to deliver thy people out of the land of Egypt, but a seer, while I raise up out of the fruit of thy loins, and unto him will I give power to bring forth my word unto the seed of thy loins, and not to the bringing forth my word only, saith the Lord, but to the convincing them of my word, which shall have already gone forth among them. Wherefore the fruit of my loins to write, and the fruit of the loins of Judah to write and that which shall be written by the fruit of thy loins, and also that which shall be written by the fruit of the loins of Judah, shall grow together under the confounding of false doctrine, and laying down of contention and establishing peace among the fruit of thy loins, and bringing them to the knowledge of their fathers in the latter days, and also to the knowledge of my covenant, saith the Lord. And out of weakness ye shall be made strong in that day, when my work shall commence among all my people, and the restoring thee, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. And thus prophesied Joseph, saying, Behold, that seer will the Lord bless, and they that seek to destroy him shall be confounded for this promise, of which I have obtained of the Lord, of the fruit of thy loins, 
to be fulfilled. Behold, I am sure of the fulfilling of this promise, and his name shall be called after me, and it shall be after the name of his father, and he shall be like unto me. For the thing which the Lord shall bring forth by his hand, by the power of the Lord, shall bring my people unto salvation. Yea, thus prophesied Joseph, I am sure of this thing, even as I am sure of the promise of Moses. For the Lord hath said unto me, I will preserve thy seed forever. And the Lord hath said, I will raise up a Moses, and I will give it power unto him. And I will give judgment unto him in writing. Yea, I will not loose his tongue, and he shall speak much. For I will not make him mighty in speaking, but I will write unto him my law by the finger of mine own hand, and I will make a spokesman for him. And the Lord said unto me also, I will raise up on the fruit of thy loins, and I will make for him a And I, behold, I will give unto him what he shall write the writing of the fruit of thy loins, and the fruit of thy loins, and the spokesman of thy loins shall declare it, and the word which he shall write shall be the word which Expedient in my wisdom should go forth on the fruit of thy loins, and it shall be as if the fruit of thy loins should fly unto them from the dust, for I know their fate, and they shall cry from the dust, and from the dust, yea, even repentance and the departing. Even that after many generations have gone by them, and it shall come to pass that their cry shall go, even according to the simpleness of their words, because of their faith, their words shall proceed forth out of my mouth unto the brethren, which are the fruit of thy loins. And the weakness of their words will I make strong in their faith, unto the remembering of my covenant which I made unto thy fathers. And be I mean, and now behold, my son Joseph, after this manner did my father of old prophesy. Wherefore, because of this covenant, thou art blessed, for thy seed shall not be destroyed, for they shall hearken unto the words of the book, and there shall raise up one mighty among them, which shall do much good in both word and deed, being an instrument in the hands of God, with exceeding faith to work mighty wonders, and do that thing which is great in the sight of God under the bringing to pass much restoration out of the house of Israel, and under the seed of thy brethren. And now blessed art thou, Joseph, behold, thou art little. Wherefore, hearken unto the words of thy brother Nephi, and it shall be done unto thee even according to the words which I have spoken. Remember the words of thy dying father. Amen. And one of the things that we need to do sometimes is distinguish the different words used for Jesus because in Jesus there's like one figure, right? Emmanuel, Messiah, Christ, Prophet. Um, so, yeah. Um, but. Tribe. But I don't know, is it taken the same thing as being, you know, you're the tribe of Joseph and Manasseh and all that other stuff? Um, well, it wasn't Joseph divided into Manasseh and Ephraim, but, um, but in reality, the spiritual traditions would be one if it wasn't for the professional priests and stuff like that. So. Um, in the second paragraph, we have, And there shall rise up one mighty among them who shall. 
and so we have the rods sort of like the will. So it's not just that you have the strictures, that you have the will to do the rest, right? You're upon the true will. And submitting one's will, that's um, the definition of Islam. Um, Unto their brethren, who are the fruit of thy loins? And even after many generations have gone by them, shall be the words which are expedient. Uh, the fruit of my loins shall be fulfilled for this promise which I have obtained, and the fruit of thy loins shall write. The Lord my God shall raise up who shall be a choice seer, and the great were the covenants, Joseph who was carried captive into Egypt. And when we're given a name, whether it's intentional or not, there's usually a lesson that we can learn, or lessons that we can learn. 